What you're looking at is a card sled that I make for Pegs and Jokers. What I want to do is demonstrate some cuts that are on this. We're going to do them in separate videos because there's actually three different cuts that we're going to do. So we'll do it on three separate videos. The first one we're going to look at is a pocket cut. That's what this is right here. This is a pocket cut. And if you look at a pocket cut, you can see it's what it sounds like. It just cuts out a pocket. The next one, the second video, will be a ramp cut. And that's what this is. Starts at zero, goes down to 0.6 inches. And it is a done in two sections. If you look over here, you can see it. Because the CNC I have will only cut 0.3 inches at a time, what happens is, get the shadow out of the way, you can see it there. I cut 0.3 and then do 0.3 again. And that's automatic when you set it up. And I'll show you how to do that on the ramp cut. The third one here is a cleanup cut. See, that side doesn't have a cleanup cut. This side does. See, that? What that is why you don't see the mark there. And I guess there's four here, because the next one is a hole. How do I do that hole? So those are the four. The first one we're going to do, pocket, ramp, cleanup, and hole. Pocket first. We're going to look at the pocket cut next. The pocket cut, this is a big pocket right through here. And it's, I'm cutting down 0.6 inches. Let me show you what it looks like. You open your tool, it says tools in the upper right corner. Touch on that and then you lock it in place with a touch pin. And I'm going to do a preview, which is right here. So there's our board. What does it look like when I cut all the things that I'm supposed to cut? So I'm going to preview all the tool paths. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. And I'm going to turn on, no, I'm going to look at all of them first. There's the holes, there's the ramps. Ramp is discussed in the second video. And it's done with the ramps. It's going to do a cleanup. And then it's doing a pocket. This is the pocket. And it goes down to 0.6 inches. And it takes two passes to get there. So that's what we're going to focus on right now is the pocket. So I'll close our preview. Well, let me go back and reset it first. Reset the preview. So it's a nice clean slate. We'll close our preview and look at our tool paths. If you look at your icons, you can see that this one right here is called Pocket Tool Path. You can zoom in. Okay. All right, that's it, Pocket Tool Path. So I click on that and it opens up this dialog box. It tells, asks you two things to start with. The start depth in this case is zero, and the cut depth is 0.45 inches. So I don't cut that as deep as I do the ramp. So it only goes down to almost a half inch. The tool that I select is an end mill quarter inch. I use the same tool for all the operations on this. That way I don't, do not have to do a tool change. I'm going to look at, bring up, click on the edit and brings up another dialog box and lets you see that the cutting parameters that pass depth is a quarter inch, which is actually quite a bit. 0 0.3, 0 0.2. You're supposed to do no more than a half of your tool width. So if you look at my tool width, it's 0.25. So I'm actually going the same depth as the width of my tool, which is taking out a lot of material, but it still works. Um, and the CNC Shark is robust enough that it can do that. Um, that's my pass depth. You come down the step over, this is 30%. And what that is, step over tells me how much of my tool is cutting new material away. So 30%, about that much from there to the edge, is actually engaging a new wood that's being removed. If I had 100%, every pass would cut out 100% of the width of the tool. And that's pretty aggressive. So 30% is aggressive enough. Uh, that cleans out that block. You come down a little bit farther, you look at your speeds and your plunge rate. Plunge rate is how fast it goes down. Speed is 
inches per minute that it travels. And I set that at 140. That's pretty standard for me. Then you click OK. And you can see that that's all set up for you. Now, to clear a pocket, you have choices. If you look, I chose Climb, which basically goes starts in the center and works its way out. You can do Raster, which goes back and forth. Whichever one you want works fine. I just use Climb. This one here. Offset and Climb. See the Offset and Climb. Those two checked. And that gives me the pattern I like. The other thing I've done on this is I ramp the tool in. And what that does is when the tool starts coming down, it ramps in. I'll run the preview again and you look for that. When it first engages with the wood, instead of just plunging into the wood, it actually slides into the wood. So that the bottom of the tool isn't doing most of the cutting. The edge of it is as it goes in. And I ramp over a distance of a half inch. And we'll call this pocket one. Well, when you do that, if I say calculate right now, it's going to give us a bing. And basically what it's saying is over here in the dialog box, it's saying you don't have any vectors selected. And so I can't do anything. And my response to that is duh. OK. So I hit OK and come back and look over here. And I have to select in the, the 2D drawing what I want to apply these cutting parameters to. And that's my pocket right there. So I select it. Now I tell it to calculate, and it will. And if you look at that, you can actually see the tool paths. There's two plunges. See how it ramps in? I talked about ramping. See right there how it ramps down in, and then it ramps back this way, and then it starts cutting that whole area. And then it does it again for the second pass. So I'm gonna. It's slowed down, so I'm gonna preview this, and I'm gonna use preview visible tool path. And you see it cutting. I'm going to rotate that so you can see the pocket. I'm going to reset my preview and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and hit preview visible tool path. So I have to click on the, the pocket one to make that visible and hit visible preview visible tool path. You see how it's overlapping just about 30% of the blade when it's cutting, and then it pulls out and retracts. Slow it down a little more, and you can see it one more time. Reset. Make it visible. There we go. See the edge there? About 30% cut. And that's how you do a pocket cut. I'll show you the actual machining shortly. Now we're moving back into the wood shop, and you can see that it's sinking into the wood and cutting the pocket. And you notice it's going out, and it's cutting about 30% with the blade. Now it's almost done, and you're going to see it ramp down. It's going to come forward and ramp back, and then it'll start that pattern again. If you notice the speed was a little slower when it ramps, which is nice. It's cutting out the pocket, it'll finish it off, and then go back to zero, zero, zero. Almost done. That's all there is to it. There's your pocket all cleaned out. You vacuum it and see that it goes to depth. The second video in this series looks at the ramp cut. So take a look at a ramp cut, see if you can learn something new.